Hello everyone. In this video of algebraic identities, we are going to learn about factorization of algebraic expressions using identity 4. So, our identity 4 is a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. Now, how to remember it? We just need to read it in an order like 2ab, then 2bc and then 2ca. 2ca can be 2ac also. So now let's start with our first question. 16x square plus 9y square plus 4z square plus 24xy plus 12yz plus 16zx. Now this is the product and we need to find its factors. So let's start writing it in the form of identity 4 which is 16x square can be written as 4x whole square. Then 9y square can be written as 3y whole square and 4z square can be written as 2z whole square. Again we will split 24xy as 2 into 4x into 3y that is our 2ab and then we will split 12yz as 2 into 3y into 2z that is our 2bc and then 16zx we will split it as 2 into 2z into 4x which is our 2ca. So over here if you observe our a is equal to 4x, b is equal to 3y and c is equal to 2z. So this is the factorization we have done using identity 4 and the factors which we will get is 4x plus 3y plus 2z whole square. Now we shall move to question number 2. It is given x square plus 4y square plus 9z square minus 4xy plus 12yz minus 6zx. Now if you observe in this algebraic expression, minus sign is with terms having x in them. For example, minus 4xy and minus 6zx. So that means x is a negative term. Now while writing in the form of identity 4, we will take minus sign inside the bracket and we will get x square as minus x whole square, 4y square as 2y whole square, 9z square as 3z whole square. Now further we will write plus sign because in our identity we have taken plus. Now we'll split minus 4xy as 2 into minus x into 2y. Then again plus will come. Then we, will, we shall split 12yz as 2 into 2y into 3z. Again we shall split minus 6zx as 2 into 3z into minus x. So over here if you observe our a is equal to minus x, b is equal to 2y and c is equal to 3z. This is how we have factorized using identity 4 and the factors will be minus x plus 2y plus 3z whole square. Let's move to third question. It is given 4a square plus b square plus 25c square minus 4ab minus 10bc plus 20ca. Now we can observe that minus sign is with the terms having b in common like minus 4ab and minus 10bc. So that means b is a negative term. Now while factorizing we will write 4a square as 2a whole square, b square as minus b whole square, 25c square as 5c whole square. Now plus sign will come because in our identity we have taken plus. So and we will split minus 4ab as 2 into 2a into minus b. Then again plus will come and we shall split minus 10bc as 2 into minus b into 5c. Again plus sign will come and then we will split 20ca as 2 into 5c into 2a. 
Now clearly a is equal to 2a, b is equal to minus b and c is equal to 5c in our this algebraic expression. So this is how we have factorized using identity 4 and the factors what we will get is 2a minus b plus 5c whole square. Now let's start with the fourth question. It is given a square plus b square upon 4 plus c square upon 9 plus ab plus bc upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 ca. Now clearly we have all the plus terms over here. So while factorizing we will write a square as a whole square. b square upon 4 can be written as b upon 2 whole square plus c square upon 9 will be written as c upon 3 whole square. Now we shall split a b and we will write 2 into a into b upon 2. Then b c upon 3 can be split as 2 into b upon 2 into c upon 3 and then 2 by 3 c a can be split into like this 2 into c upon 3 into a. So clearly our a is equal to a, b is equal to b by 2 and c is equal to c by 3. This is how we have factorized using identity 4 and the factors are a plus b by 2 plus c by 3 whole square. Now let's start our fifth question. It is given 25x square plus y square plus 9z square plus 10xy minus 6yz minus 30xz. Now if you observe the terms with the minus sign have z common in them. So here z is a negative variable. So while writing the factors we will write 25x square as 5x whole square, y square as y whole square, 9z square we will write minus 3z whole square then further plus sign and then we will split 10xy as 2 into 5x into y then again plus sign then we shall split minus 6yz and write 2y into minus 3z then again we shall split minus 30xz and we shall write 2 into 5x into minus 3z so clearly over here a is equal to 5x, b is equal to y and c is equal to minus 3z. So this is how we have factorized using identity 4 and we have got the factors 5x plus y minus 3z whole square. So in this video we have studied how to factorize algebraic expression using identity 4. Thank you everyone.